the Ardennes. Credible intelligence reaches a local resistance cell that an armored train which contains the Fuhrer himself is headed towards a secret Black Sun and Knock Wolf facility deep in the heart of the Ardennes forest. With time pressing, resistance leader Marta Archambod seizes her chance and decides to gamble on a covert raid, hoping to clamor aboard, sweep through, and cut off the head of the snake by assassinating Hitler himself. It is a dangerous, possibly even foolhardy mission, and the odds are stacked against her and her colleagues. But they are prepared to risk it all, for if they succeed, they can bring the war to a premature conclusion, saving millions of lives. With time running out, Marta and her crew head out to find their hidden weapons cache of demolition charges and heavy weaponry. They are surprised to discover that a checkpoint has been established at a bridge that they must cross. Because they cannot go around, they must neutralize this checkpoint. Can they quickly and quietly neutralize this enemy threat? Or will this hold them up and prevent them from the assault on the Führer's train? Alright guys, so tonight Mel is commanding the resistance cell here. And her leader is Marta Aschenbaud, head of the resistance and one of the most important figures in the Ardennes movement. Marta has resisted the German occupation since the Nazi oppressors first marched across Europe in 1939. However, Marta is no fanatic, but a clear-headed, calculating strategist who carefully weighs the cost of every decision she makes and always acts coolly according to logic rather than passion. Until recently, resistance activities have been low-key and indirect, disruption and sabotage rather than assaults that would provoke savage retaliation against the local population. Marta is brave, however, and will not hesitate to seize important opportunities that present themselves, especially now with the Allies closing in. Now, Marta has a couple special rules this game. She has the opportunist. Exploit weakness and rousing speaker special rules. All right, next is Armand Capella. Armand is Marta's right hand man, a slightly older but still stalwart and dependable fellow who's a dab hand with explosives and demolition after working for so many years as an engineer for the French and Belgian railways. He is loyal to a fault and would follow Marta to the gates of hell and back. Now, Armand has a couple special rules, too, tonight. It's, he has saboteur, demolitions, and dilettante. All right, then we have Pierre Babineau. Pierre is a cunning and stealthy resistance operative who works best in the shadows, has become adept at sabotaging the occupier's installations and infrastructure, as well as disappearing key personnel. He is from the village of Marceau and is a quiet, tactum fellow. He never speaks of his past when he worked as a hitman for the shady criminal organization across Europe's bigger cities. His unique skills have been put to good use by the resistance and he is a highly valued member of the organization. He has the special assassination, like a shadow, and perfect timing abilities. Then we have Marie France Bardon. Marie France is a brave and dedicated nurse who uses her good looks and attractive appearance to great effect, playing the part of a naive and innocent young woman who guilishly flirts with German troops and officers, subtly extracting information and intelligence without them ever knowing. She is from the town of Edelbrook. And in civilian life, her occupation as a nurse gives her the perfect excuse to move around the Ardennes, freely visiting patients and administering to the sick. Yet, behind this front, she is an intelligence and intelligent and wily operative, able to manipulate people, especially men, for her own ends. She's bringing the belonging. She's bringing the talents of chameleon, medic, and defensive. Last but not least, we have Ives Bogart. To the untrained eyes, Ives is a quite unass 
unassumingly portly middle-aged academic, a shabby, rather run-down historian and folklorist who specializes in research into the myths and legends of the Ardennes. He is a thorough patriot, however, and has been active in the resistance ever since the Nazis invaded, lending valuable strategic insight to planning and having an uncanny knack of knowing just when and where to hit the occupiers hardest. All right, guys. So his talents tonight are a price to pay, deep expertise, and mystical power. Um, so Ives is also equipped with three spells tonight. The Spear of Arduna, the Horn of Nyt, and the Bounty of Arduna. So tonight, Ives is being played by Adam of Wargaming China. Um, then we've got Marie is being played by uh, JC. Then J Boy is being played by Pierre. British Legion is playing Armand. And Marta is being played by the super chick, Colette. All right, baby. Are you ready to see what's up? Sure. All right, guys. The battle begins. Right here, it's uh, it's it's about 5 in the morning right now. It's pretty dim. We do have lights on here, so the bridge is well lit. The rest of the forest is dark. And the, the resistance are coming upon an unexpected, um, looks like a rushed uh, checkpoint. What will they do? <coughs> Let's find out. Okay, guys, so tonight I'm playing with a small squad of uh, Luftwaffe field personnel. Uh, we've got an NCO, we've got the corporal, and we've got three privates, okay? Um, they have access to this car and their truck. They're using the truck as a roadblock for their outpost. Their, the mission, their mission is to occupy this bridge and uh, just control the traffic coming in and out. And uh, that's about it. Now, the only support these guys have is um, they have um, D6 grenades, and they have access to a working telephone that's been set up into this built into this uh, this uh, farmhouse. Okay, so if they need any kind of assistance or whatever, they do have access to calling some sort of command. All right, guys, let's see what happens. All right, guys, so. Object Mel's got to neutralize this checkpoint because she has to bypass this to get to her weapons cache so they can assault the terror, the fuel train. Um, it's all heavy woods except this opening here, and there's a small opening here, and of course the road is open. Um, also the uh, the river is a uh, it's pretty it's running pretty fast, and there's a pretty steep in, uh, incline into it. Okay, so. Woo! It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Um, we've got a patrol guard here. We got a guard here in this gun pit, and we've got a guard here by the, the truck. Like again, it's about five in the morning, so it's still pretty dim. And Mel has um, was able to infiltrate her troops up to here in the in the in the heavy woods. That's where the action starts. All right, and this is where we head it off. Okay, baby. So you won the first initiative. I, what is up? Um, I think I think she's gonna move up. Okay. So, so as she moves up, to get it measuring and all that good stuff. Yeah. She gets to move what five? Yeah, or she can run up to seven. Hmm. I just do five. She starts screaming. Just screaming? Yeah, screaming, and she's all okay. at ruffled that, up. And she's all kerfuffled. Yeah, she's in a German uniform. All okay. She's in disguise. Okay, she has, I think you said what a female auxiliary uniform. Yeah. And she's all tore up, her, and she's screaming, she's screaming in German. What is she saying? She's like, she's like, help, help. Okay, so at that at that yeah. instance, this guard is going to blow his whistle. Okay. Oh, fuck you. And, what the fuck? Why did he blow his whistle? Well, because there's something fucking happening. He's letting everybody know oh, there's okay. something in the somebody in the road. Okay. So he'll like he'll like 
say halt and say some shit like to that effect, like halt. Who are you? So that's first action, right? Okay, uh, this guy kind of like, you know, oh, what, what, huh? Then the the corporal guy is like, you know, they're okay. Can the house people hear the whistle? Yeah. So what? Ha- yeah, yeah. That everybody has a whistle to active to let everybody know something's happening. So at that first action, the house guys are getting their shit together. Okay. Second action, they're going to move from the house to the the checkpoint. Okay. So. Second action, um, you're going to need to respond to this guard's request, like, okay. you know, to what's going on. She's going to take out the, her papers and start waving them. You know? Okay. Because she has papers, identify. Ident- identity. ID guard, yeah. Yeah, identify and start hollering. Did she move closer? Yeah, yeah. She's going to move. As she's moving, she's going to be, she has her papers out. She's gonna move up another five. Okay. Just it puts her about. Right so there. at that point, the guard's gonna this this guy is gonna come up and support him. Okay. Yeah. And then they say, you know, come closer, come closer. That's what they're gonna say. And then at that same instance, we've got these two guys exiting the building. Okay. okay. They gotta do. They're gonna run. Towards the checkpoint. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. That would be unless you want to do anything else. Um, I think I think everybody's gonna halt and wait for Hold. a minute. Okay. They're gonna wait and see what's up. All right. So with that, let's roll and see who has initiative. I rolled a 19, actually. So you're up, baby. So what do you want to do? All right. um, Hmm. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. She's going to slowly move up. She's going to move up. Okay. Holding her papers. So... And crying and do a skill check to okay. to do like her ability to like convince him that something's wrong. She yes. sounds legit. She's got a plus ten on that. Yeah, eleven plus ten minus ten minus ten. Excuse so it's like a one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she's able. To, she convinces these guys that she was. Um, she's part. You know, she's part of a convoy that was uh, ambushed, and she's coming. And they they say for her to come up a little closer. Yeah. Okay. So. That puts her right here. So she's going to go base to base with both of them. And okay. She, and for her second action, she's going to pass out. She's going to pass. So she falls to the ground. Yes. Okay. She passes out. Yes. All right. So in my res- my response is that. <laughs> the, I'm just going to leave her standing. Fine, but she's passed fine. out, y'all. <laughs> this guy is going to move up to like behind the truck. And then the NCO guy is going to run an action up to here. Uh-huh. Okay. And then um, he's barking orders like, you know, hold your, hold your positions. And then this guy, he's going to make a check. Okay, he fails his fucking check. And the other, the corporal guy fails his fucking check too. So they act in, in a way that is like supportive. Oh, cool. That isn't very professional. Because oh. <laughs> these guys are green. Yeah. And they're like, oh, wow, it's one of our people, and she's really cute, and she's hurt. So they come up to, like, help what a her. What date. They come up to help her, yeah. okay? So this guy moves base to base and, like, gets on his knees and, like, is holding her, like, are you okay? Are you okay? Right. And this guy kind of comes up to her as well, but doesn't get prone. Okay. So these two are prone, right? Yeah. Or, no, she's, she's prone. Just, she's prone, she's but he's, he's kneeling, yeah. He fainted. Okay. So... Second actions, he's going to attempt to give aid. Now, he's going to make a, a check to see – which he fucking passes. He's going to make a check if there's anything awry, if he sees anything weird. Okay. okay. This guy's going to do a sighting check just to the woods. He doesn't see anything. This, this guy is going to do a sighting check to the woods. Doesn't see shit. All right. Second action, the NCO guy is going to do a five-inch movement and says, okay. what is going on? What's happening? Okay. Now that ends turn two. Right. Unless you wanted to activate anybody. No. All right. Turn 
three. You need this one, baby. I know. This, this will determine everything. Okay, roll. See you initiative. Oh, Twelve. Twelve, huh? I rolled a 18. Mm. So you get to go. All right. So this is, at this moment, again, this guy's in his gun pit. Mm -hmm. This guy's sitting next to the truck. This guy's walking up to what's going on. This guy's yeah. kind of looking down the road and looking at her, and this guy's bent over trying to help her. All right. And this guy's been aiming at this guy. Okay, so J-Boy's been... This guy's been aiming for his part. He's been aiming at this guy. Okay. Because he saw him walk up. Okay. Right? So, and this guy right here, this is a... Adam, character. Yeah, he's gonna be aiming at this guy. Okay. Okay. And so, Colette got anything going on? Colette is going to hang back. Okay. She's gonna. She well. Her first action needs to be. Yeah. Something. Yeah, she's, she's gonna. She's gonna hang back. Just no, get ready. She's gonna. She's gonna aim also at this guy. No, she. Well, no, she's just gonna hang back. Okay. She's gonna hang back. Because everybody and then has their first orders. action for. Was it Marie? Marie. Marie French. She's gonna slowly take out her gun from her back of her dress. Okay, she's got a gun. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna do close combat, guys. We'll be right but back. She's passed out. She. They, she appears to be passed yeah. out. Yeah. So she's, she's already. Just, she's already successfully. She's disguised as a best that. girl, so they think she's passed out. Yeah. So, we gotta do close combat, though. Okay? okay? So, we'll be right back with that, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, she's pulling her weapon. Uh, she's gonna do a fire... We're doing close combat right here. Mm -hmm. um, she's doing a fire action against uh, this guy. Um, so, she's at minus five because she's surprising him. And then she's at minus one because um, she has a higher morale. She's at another minus one because she has a minus one modifier to all her rolls. Me? Point and she's point, yeah. So, uh, and I got shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just some green. Actually, I'm at a plus two, which fucking blows because he's green. Okay, so let's roll. Okay. So I rolled a 18 total. Wonderful. I had a 14 total, which is minus seven, seven. So that makes seven. Yeah, so you win that combat, so you get to shoot him. Okay. So, are you using the silenced gun or your normal pistol? I'm just going to do the normal pistol. Okay, because you get, yeah, you get better. Yeah. Okay, so you roll two dice, okay. and you're at minus, what is it, five? Because you're point blank. Yeah. Your point blank is about minus four, and you get a minus one anyway, so go ahead and roll. Okay, here we go. Eleven to fifteen. They both hit. Both so you hit. get two hits to that guy. You just put you put the gun right up to his head. And yep. Boom, boom. Bam, bam. All right. Roll two dice on the and you're gonna you have a you're at a minus um two to these results. All right. And you're a point for blank. the pistol, it goes in the eye. The eye. Make him good. Five and yeah. thirteen total. Yeah. Yeah, so heavy wounds, so he'll be down. So bleh, you shot him in the face. Yes. Now Mel had um. Said there's a trigger here. The minute she shoots, um, you've got J Boy's yep. character He's and aiming. Nick's character mm -hmm. are gonna fire. Yep. So go ahead and do that. Okay. So you have one aim shot here. Okay. What is his uh, special abilities again? His special abilities. What is that? That's a. That's your assassin sniper dude. Oh, that's Armand. Isn't it? Armand, yeah. Okay, Armand has. No, that's Pierre. Excuse me. Oh, Pierre. Sniper is minus two in close combat if target is surprised. Acts as a sniper. Okay, so you're like at a minus seven. So roll one dice okay. against this guy. And again, guys, this is all happening the minute the gunshot shoots this dude here. It all, like, triggers off. Okay. Take it Oh, four. Oh, fuck yeah, that guy's hit. Make a roll okay. and subtract two to it. Okay. Actually, you subtract five to it because he's a sniper eight She's minus five three yeah he's kia Blech! right in the face all right. all right then you had uh that was who's this guy the character Th that guy is uh that's the demolition armand? guy he's armand armand okay so he's got a rifle too and he's aiming at which guy well he was gonna aim at this guy okay right here. so go ahead and roll so armand's a little different he's only at a minus two to hit because he's not a oh, three fuck. minus two <laughs> so that fucking hits that guy 
Now, um, it's going to be a straight up result because this guy gets a little bit of cover from this uh, yeah. this fence or the, the bridge. Oh, God. Roll? I rolled a 20. A 20 on your result? Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. So that'll be a suppression. So basically, goes, oh, the shit. round shoots right away. He's like, sure. He dives prone. Okay. All right. She has a second move, doesn't she? Yes. This is only the first action. Okay. Okay. And you have initiative. So, did these guys have any planned tri- um, can their triggers? She, can she move in her first? It has to be the trigger. Oh, like the, okay. the was she gonna run out as soon as she shot the heard the fire or something? Yeah. Okay, then do do a movement, uh, an action of movement for her. So yeah, what what's happened, guys, is that she preordained what was gonna happen yes. the minute um, uh, Marie shot. So Marta's running out. What was uh? Ives gonna do. Ives is going to. Um, Wasn't he aiming at somebody? Yeah, he was. He was aiming at this guy. Okay, right so do that shot. I think he's at a minus. Because it's a pistol, and he's... oh, he no, he's got everybody's got rifles. Oh, okay. Those guys all have rifles. All right. She had. She's the only one that has just a pistol on her right now. Oh. So roll. Ooh, five. Fuck yeah, you hit him. Uh, roll. It's an aim shot, so subtract Eight two to minus it. two. Fuck. He's heavy wounded. Damn. Damn. This is the best I've rolled in forever. <laughs> Shit. All right. So that's first action, guys. Uh, we'll be right back. Let me uh, uh, put some markers down here, and we'll be right back for her second action. Shit. All right, guys. So the ambush has been sprung. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, Mel, like, m- murdered these <laughs> fucking dudes. All right. Then you got everybody's second action, babe. What are they going to okay. do? She's going to take a shot at him at... Even though he's prone. Pistola? Yeah, okay. yeah that'll pistol. be point blank. So it'll yeah. be uh, what, minus four for point blank. And then what, your your uh, minus one? So yeah. you got minus five to hit that guy. Yeah, a one? Six yeah. minus five. You fucking hit him. Yeah. <laughs> That's one dice. You're going to do two? Like, pop, pop, pop. No, roll. Just, uh, roll. Yeah. Roll again. Two. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, they both hit. Roll the wound. Uh, subtract two to those because you're point blank. Six minus two. Shit, a four? Yeah. Heavy wounded. Sorry. What's the other one? Roll the other oh, one. Five minus two. So yeah, two heavy wounds makes a KIA. Dude, you just off the fucking... So this guy's KIA. Blech. Shit. All right. Uh, what about everybody else? All right. Um. Let's see. Can he see him? Um, I don't... I believe, fuck, you know, he is a he's up high, and he's under light. It's gonna be a hard shot. You can try, but there's gonna be some massive cover right here. I mean, still try. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Okay, so your effective range, okay, okay, effective range. All right. I think you're just gonna be at a minus one to hit because okay. he's not aiming. Because it takes an action to aim for him. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and roll. Seven. So that'll fucking hit. Okay, we're gonna add a plus. You got that. You got this, and he's kind of. We'll just say uh, you're gonna be at a plus three to your result for this guy. Okay. Okay. So um, yeah. go ahead and roll. See what we got. Six plus three. Shit. So a nine. Three, nine. On the fucking. Uh, I think it's an F. F. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. He's light wounded. Shit. Dude, is that your last guy? Yes. Oh my god. Okay, let me make a morale check, guys, because he's been wounded here. And these guys are all fucking green. Or except this guy. He was fucking like a vet. Everybody yeah, else is dead. goddamn green. Okay, so yeah, 19 plus fucking five because he's light wounded, and plus another two because he's green. Yeah, he fucking breaks. Well shit. Alright, guys. So that's that. Did um, I just win the game? You did in one th- in fucking three in turns. Two turns. This is two the turn. second. This turn. is third action, or third turn. No, it's not. Is the second turn? It's the second. Mm-hmm. All right. So you got you got second actions for her, him, and uh, Ives. All right. What are they um, gonna do? Well, we've already won. This guy isn't dead yet. Ah. You have to neutralize this entire party. Okay. Then I'm gonna move up. Okay. All right. Okay. She's laying prone still. But she's already had her second. Yeah, she's already done she's her already second. Done. 
Okay, she's just gonna move up five. Okay. Uh, he's gonna start moving, moving this way. Okay. Oh. He's gonna start moving this way. Okay. I'm I'm guesstimating five <laughs> inches, y'all. Yeah, it's fine. So he he already shot his second action. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh, Jesus. That is uh, turn two. All right, off to turn uh, three. Let's see if I can rally this son of a bitch and see if he can do anything. All right, guys, we'll be back. What's going to happen this turn is he basically <coughs> crawls. Crawls his. Behind this truck. Ass behind the truck, huh? Okay. Mm. That's all he's got for that last turn. Now it's another turn. So let's roll for initiative. Okay. Roll 15. Eight. Eight. The, the resistance is up. A resistance. Um, let's see. Well, his first action is going to... I think he's just going to run. So okay. it's going to be, what, how many Seven. inches? Seven inches? Uh, You don't run through a heavy wood. You oh. just do your normal move. Do just five. Five? Okay. All right. Yeah, it's about seven. But but, that's fine. <laughs> well, that's fine. Fine, I'll go back a little bit. That's there you fine. go. You got a tape measure right there next to you. I, I, yeah. You don't have time for tape I don't have time for no damn tape measure. All right, uh, these guys, they're going to... What are they going to do? Run or normal move? Uh, they're going to run. Okay. I think all of them's going to run. Okay, so there's... Okay. Okay. I'm going to leave y'all's flags behind. Okay, and this guy, that guy already... Dad, what do you want Marta to do? Oh, she's going to run up, so she's going to run. Okay. She's going to get right there. Okay, and then she'll stand up? Yes, okay. for her so first, first action. action. Then second actions? Okay, I'm going to start from the back. She's going over here, but mm. yeah, that's good enough. He's going to run. Okay. Oh, we're still going to do a normal move to get I out of the can't see the numbers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Okay. So She's gonna run. You can do whoever you want to do next. Okay, run. Her. Okay. Everybody's just running up like. Okay. Resistance. Yeah. Resist so they probably make it to the other side of the truck. Yeah, they they make it about right here. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, her her second oh. action. She's gonna go. She ahead. can run around and just do close combat to that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna close to grow him. Okay, so... Cru what is it called? Gross... Coup de gras. Coup, coup de gras. Well, you haven't... No. He's not helpless. He can defend he, himself. He looks a little helpless. <laughs> he's on the ground prone. <laughs> All right. So, you've done your second action into movement. Can't do a... Sh you can... Uh, what do you want to do? Let's do... You're going to... You want to capture him or you just want to kill him? I think I want to capture... Well, I want to... Uh, I think I'm just going to kill his ass. Okay. So roll. With him. I got a bunch of. Pen oh shit! I rolled a one. Oh. Okay, lucky roll. bastard. Four. And a four. Okay, you're gonna fucking beat me. Okay. I mean, but I'm successful in my roll against you because I roll ones always succeed. Mm -hmm. So my the only thing I can do I don't have any actions, so I'm gonna can only be able to like uh, dodge. I thought you did have actions. You haven't gone yet. No, he's broken technically. Oh. He can't. He, he, the only thing you do is be broken oh. and hide. <laughs> so he's gonna okay. So you're shooting him? Are you shooting him? Uh, yeah. Okay. So you've got you roll your two dice to hit. Go on, let's see what you roll. I I well, I, it's got, all, I got a pistol. Isn't it just one? Two. Two. You're using your normal pistol, right? Okay. Yeah. Five and two. Two and a five. Jesus. Yeah. You hit. <laughs> Look at this rolling, y'all. I am just like kicking some ass today. So um. Because of his uh, his, because he did succeed, he'll get. You'll be a straight up result on your pistol shots. So mm -hmm. go ahead instead of the minuses. Okay, so just one die. Two dice. Two die. I'm all right. Just tell me what they roll. Five and a twelve. Fuck yeah, he's dead. He's okay. That the yes. five, five produces a, this a heavy wound, so he's down. He's out. Shit. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So I win. Mel cleared. So okay. So you've you've wiped out. Technically, you've wiped out. You know all my troops, but you don't quite know yet. But just to save, because we're playing a role playing game and a tabletop, we're converting it. Normally, you'd have to check or whatever. But 
just assume that you're going to... Tell me what you intend to do now. We don't have to play it out. Okay. And just tell me what you're going to well, do. Well, what I would do if I was in this circumstance, I would check the vehicles. Okay. First, because they're right there. Okay. I would check it for Vehicles supplies, you know, any clues, you know, I'd Scooby-Doo that shit out. Um, there's just some orders that say that you've been tasked to secure this this bridge and set up a checkpoint. Okay, and after That's that, it. I would go... And there's some call signs to use the telephone and numbers to HQ. Like, two of my people would go and check the bodies. Okay. Check bodies and you'll take get, supplies. Uh, and okay, so out of this group, you'll get four... Car 98 rifles. Mm-hmm. You'll get a MP40 submachine gun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Enough ammo for you know, to do whatever you want with. And then you'll have... Um, you will have... Uh, three fragmentation grenades. Okay. Okay. And we would put that in the car on the way inside the house. We'd, we'd, we'd sneak the ho- into the house. Okay, so yeah. So you, got, you do an inspection of the house. There's no one in the house. It's empty. Um, it obviously used to be occupied... Yeah. By civilians, but they're not there. They don't know. We don't know where they're at. Okay. Um, but there's no indication that they were killed or anything. They're just not there. Right. Um, so, what do you want to do to the checkpoint? The checkpoint. I'm going to. I'm going to. What are you gonna do with the bodies? Or are you just gonna bypass and run off? Actually, I'm gonna put them in this this hole. The pit. The pit so and bury them. Gets. Thro- you gonna yeah. bury them? Yeah. I'm- I'm yeah, cover the pit. Cover the pit. Okay, so you throw everybody in the pit. Yep. And you just get... Okay, so you, you cover the pit. Yeah. All right. Take what are you gonna do bodies. with the vehicles? Uh, you gonna take them? I'm going to. Now you're about you're about an hour yeah. away in the woods to your cache. Yeah. Uh, well, the, I, I want to take the vehicle that vehicle. The road leads away from the cache. Oh yeah. It curves down further here away from the okay. cache, so you'd be driving away from it. Well, I dismantled the. The front of them, so they're not drivable. Like, I'd take parts from the hood and throw it in the river. Okay, so do you want to disable it in this position? Like, right there? Um... God, that's hard, right? you got to ask me hard questions. Well, I'm just saying. No, I'm going to push it into the river. You're going to push the vehicle into the river? Yeah, I'm going to, yeah. Okay. I'm going to push both vehicles. So, you're going to drive the truck back? Yeah. Where, like, this, because there's a... Well, I'm going to do right here, and then there's that embankment, and then I'm going to... Yeah. Okay, so the river's deep, but Mm -hmm. it's not... Yeah, but it's... Truck deep, so the the truck is hanging out of the water. Which is fine. Nobody can drive it out, so... But they can see it. That's fine. Okay, what do you do with the car? The car is the same thing. I'll put in the goddamn dang drink. (laughs) That was Adam's idea, okay? I'm going to blame Adam (laughs) for all this mess. No. Okay. All right. So Colette, car- Colette, Colette decided to uh, bury all the bodies. <laughs> that seems like a. So as you look at the as you look at the scene, okay, it's okay. been cleared. Yes. Right. There's no sign other than there's a truck, a, a, a military truck, and a military car hanging out of the water in this river. Yeah. Other than that. You would have never known that there were Germans there. <laughs> well, I couldn't set the vehicles on fire because then there would be smoke. Or you could have just driven the vehicles into the woods, right? To hide them. Well, I wanted them in the water so <laughs> nobody could use them ever again. But they see them. So what if a patrol comes by? They fucking see them. Well, I will be so gone. We'll be so <laughs> gone. Okay. All right, guys. So, um, well done, babe. So everybody survived. Yay. You gained, uh, you gained some more weaponry and equipment. Yes. And some. Oh, shit. You know what? I did. What'd you do there? I put all the guns and shit in that stupid car. Well, we'll we'll let you pull it all out. You before. probably okay? Because yeah, yeah. that would have been dumb. Yeah, that would okay. Been a, you, you, you know, God. Damn. They still have a yeah. They, you like you, he's smiling because he's like <laughs> my girl's a dumbass. She put all the weapons no, into the car no, and put it in the drink. You're so excited, you know. I get it. No. So this is the role play aspect of so so Mel has sanitized the scene. Kinda. Kinda. All right. So what now? What do you plan on doing? Going to Disneyland. You're going to Disneyland. Yeah. So you gotta just fuck the fear train and just go to Disneyland. No, actually, stuff. we're gonna move on to our cachet. All right. Go. So Mel moves off into the woods this way to go to her a hidden cachet of weaponry. Yep. <sighs> All right, guys. So that was Checkpoint Christian of the uh, Octoon Cthulhu Assault on the Fear Train module. What'd you think? I liked it. I liked it. 
It was, you won? I won. That's why I like it. But no, I like it. It's it's a little bit... It's hard for me to role play a World War II game. It's weird to me. It, it just feels it unnatural. It is weird in World War II? Yeah, it is weird. <laughs> but, you know, it, it, it flows better once you get, you know, go, going. It's a little different because... Uh, I mean, although the system that we use, we're using my battleground weird World War Two. It does have uh, mechanics in it for limited role play. Right. I didn't um, even get to use my spells. Didn't need it. I know. You you neutralize that green checkpoint. Yeah. Which is that's fine. I mean, Next, our little band of people. They're are off be... to uh, try to intercept the uh, Fuhrer train. Yeah. Their their grand plan is to. Jump on top of it as it goes through a tunnel. Comes out of a tunnel. <laughs> that sounds like a really bad idea. That's the only way they can do it. Because mm. uh, they're on a time. They're on a timer right now. But luckily, she only um, in in the in the game. She only, she only has so many hours to reach that location. Maybe thirty at the most. To, you know, drive the vehicles into the drink and all that shit. Yeah. So I'm assuming that. The guys did that when Marta wasn't looking. She was taking a. She yeah, was in the it sounds bathroom. like a real guy. Thing and when to she do. came out, she's like, "What the fuck?" Like it's we like, we threw the, we drove the cars in the yeah they didn't quite sink. <laughs> we thought it was deeper. <laughs> That's kind of funny, but uh, but yeah, so that'll be uh, uh, that section of the the module. Next will be the uh, ex- thrilling excitement of actually jumping onto the train and then like my ass is gonna fling off i know it. it's like gonna this be, is gonna be ugly all we're gonna we're gonna lose should be lives. fine so uh hope you guys enjoyed it fast and furious um a lot of fun converting these uh these role-playing but modules was it really but was it really it was it was because anything could go because you know you gotta you're playing to the story, so one of us has to be like the game, the the game master. So, yeah. and the game master has to play the Germans because you know what's going on. She does it. So, but you got to set the narrative up to allow for some, um, you know, actions and stuff happening without their uh, knowledge. Yeah. So what you guys didn't see is that when Mel is. Um, Moving forward through the woods, she was. I was making sighting checks and sound yeah. and awareness checks to see if I could hear. And that's why I we couldn't. didn't. We didn't. Yeah, we that, didn't that's a little that slow. It's that's a little slow. slow going. I had to make it, can it up. Be. To that it's, point. it's not slow. It's not exciting. Yeah. Whatever. But because of the special rules that the characters have, um, like her feminine wiles, were able to dupe these. Yeah. Uh, these... Plus, plus ten on my disguises. That's insane. Yeah. So she's able. What that does is it basically. Her story or her outfit or whatever it might be is so good and convincing to most people mm-hmm. that, you know, she was able to right. convince these guys to run up to her like, oh my god, it's one of us. Well, it's in, one of our... in your game, in the battlefield, it's minus 10. But I yeah, but yeah, yeah. Minus. I kept saying plus, but... That's fine. I'm it's my, uh, one, uh, lower is better in this game. but So uh, bonuses are at minus and, and penalties are at pluses. Right. But yeah, that was That'd fun. Be different than you. I was hoping. Well, you gotta be. It's weird. It's a weird way to do it. Um, was hoping that that NCO didn't get shot in the face because he was going to open up on the. I was hoping to kill at least one of her team on that bridge, but to okay. no avail. Well, we took them all out. You did. Very very smart bunch of. And crew. then you know she had a sound tactic. You know she wanted to she wanted to infiltrate up into the woods. And, you know, have those aim shots on those guys and have that trigger, you know, as soon as the, the ambush was triggered, she was like, pow, pow, pow. Right. So that's pretty good, baby. And had Marta there, you know, as backup, just Run in up case. To help, yeah, you know, just her. in case. Fuck some people up. Yep. Well, you wiped out a Nazi checkpoint. It feels great. You feel good, huh? Yeah, I'm going to Disney. You celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So stay with us until next time. We'll do uh, Act 2. I guess that was Act 1. Act 2, Assault on the Fear Train itself. All right, guys. Until then, whatever you do. Keep it weird. All right, guys. See you. Bye.